Hey everybody, welcome to uh, NAMM Show 2011, Guitar Jeff. And uh, as you can see, matter of fact, let's spin around and show everybody that the, the show is actually not open yet. This is really, really fun. I mean, the insanity to think about, there's going to be a, an excess of 50,000 people here, and they'll be flooding in the doors in about another 30 minutes. So it's really pretty, really pretty cool to be able to do uh, do a little spot here. And uh, what I want to uh, do for you guys today, and you girls, of course, is that I want to show you a little bit of some of the new uh, models that I put together with Real Guitar, Real Strat, and Real Les Paul Custom. Um, and I also want to, uh, the questions that I've been asked during the show, uh, the most common question that I'm getting about the Real Strat and Les Paul Custom is, you know, how do you get your sounds? You know, uh, you know, I, I have the stuff and I'm not getting the same sound you are. So how, how are you getting your sounds? So I'm going to break this down just a little bit. When you buy these guitars, they are clean. They're absolutely clean. There are no effects on the samples whatsoever. Just like with a guitar when you buy it from the store. If you buy a Stratocaster, go home. You got to plug it into an amplifier. That's the magic of the amp sims. And I've said in the other videos, the amplifier simulators that I use, my choices are uh, Amplitude 3 and uh, Native Instruments Guitar Rig. And those are what I use to create my sounds. I can't stress enough the importance of taking the time to create your sims. Because that's really where the magic is. You know, Eric Clapton, he didn't just buy an amplifier and plug in. I mean, he took years to craft that sound. And hopefully it won't take you that long to uh, achieve the same results. But that's how you get the sound with these instruments. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, play you a couple of the new, of the new Les Paul sounds. One of these you probably have already heard. And also what we're going to get into is uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the pick. Hey, come on in, Carlo. Let's get a little closer on this one. What I want to what I want to stress on these is when you when you play the instruments, you have absolute control. And if you you see over here. I have my bridge mute activated. One of the really cool things about this is that not only can you activate your bridge mute, and you guys should be aware of that by now if you own the product, um, but you can set the you can set the parameters of your velocity. And this is really important. I prefer to set my parameters so I can attack my bridge mute on and off with my fingers. So watch a little bit here. Check it out. Let me get on the right page with this. There we go. Listen to the dynamics of how I get the sound, because everybody goes, Jeff, how do you do that? How do you do that? And they keep thinking I'm using key switches for this. I'm not. I'm actually just using the dynamics of my fingers. This is the magic of the instrument, just like a guitar, playing it dynamically. I get is about the bending and, and once again the bending I have it I have a full octave up and down on here that's where the bending has come from I have all the semitones in between and yes you really need a ribbon to pull these bends off the way that I do it and now I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna show you something you've never seen before done by me with a uh, real guitar and I'm gonna have Carlos step in here and real close and catch this now we've all heard the great nylon guitars so we all know these exist we've all heard this stuff what I've done now is I've taken the body of the guitar, which of course you have on a key switch, and I've put the body of the guitar into the left hand, so I can actually body tap. Now, you can tap the body in many different ways, many different velocities. Listen to the different velocities of that. And the only thing I did with as far as getting the effects on the body, by the way, is I just put reverb on it. And I used, the harm, I used a, a pitch changer on one. For that one there, just so I can get the body a little high. But now I'm going to do I'm going to do a little bit of body tapping for you guys and girls, and uh, I'm also going to be doing the mute keys, which are C sharp and D sharp for me, and of course the repeat keys, which are C and D. And I'm just going to kind of kind of film this. So I'm just going to play for a minute or so. Let's check this out. This is the body. Now, watch where we're going right from the body. We're showing you off the body. We're showing the percussiveness. But listen, without changing patches again, importance of the dynamics. Listen to this. 
listen to the dynamics. Hey Carl, we'll come in just a little bit because we're playing, still playing pretty soft. Listen to this. It's absolutely beautiful instrument. And notice the way you play it, you can just completely change the nature of the instrument. Absolutely wonderful. That's the back of the real guitar and the nylon. The strumming, I'm still getting a lot of questions about the strumming. So let me uh, uh, let me jump to one of my new uh, strumming patches that I created. Now, with this, and, and once again, I'm gonna, let me, uh, have Carlo come in so we can just show you this on the computer. What I did, and you see there's three instances here. There's actually only one sound. The other two, once again, are bodies. These are my body tap stuff because I body tap in here as well. And what I did, as I'm using this, all I did is I changed the chord from the first position to the second position. And again, as you guys all know, um, you can do this through your key switches. For the sake of the NAMM show, I want to folks to see it. And also I want to stress the importance, while well, Carlo's right here, of your strum time, your release times, and also how much pick and body you get in, as well as your release and your frets. So you still have all control of that and your EQs if you desire to change them. I'm using like, they're flat right out of the box. Um, they're perfect for me in, in this mode. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have Carlo step back and... And I'm going to show you another, I'm in the, the same guitar in a different position with the, with the strumming. Again with the strumming gang, remember, if you, hold, if you hold any one tone of the chord of your triad, and you play up note, you get up stroke, down stroke. And of course you have the repeat keys. Right? So, now I'm going to do just a little bit of advanced strumming with this. Check this out. Watch. And no, there's not multiple guitars. It is the same guitar. 